Good evening. Hi. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, guys. How are you, Adriana? I'm tired. I'm tired. Ah, I got you. <laughs> Pero ya es la última clase, Adriana. <laughs> sí. Let's see, how about you, Francisco? How are you? Me too. I'm tired. You're tired. <laughs> All right, okay, everybody. Tomen su cafecito, right? Porque vamos ahorita para una buena hora de clases, right? We are in class 16, everybody. Today we're going to have the final review, all right? Congratulations to you guys because you already finished this level and that's excited. That's great. That's wonderful, right? Now we're going to wait for the other students to get into the class, right? Vamos a ir viendo quiénes más se conectan porque tenemos un review bastante grueso ahorita, right? Eh, tenemos mucha practice. Ya saben que a mis arevalos les, les encanta la practice, right? Entonces, vamos a practicar mucho con contenido que ustedes ya aprendieron. We're going to practice a lot with content already learned, right? So, let's get into the business. Tenía este eh, reading for you guys. Pero eh, vamos a tener que obviarlo por el momento, right? Porque no hay muchos. Y no le voy a dejar a ustedes dos todo ese review, all right? Toda esta reading, toda esta lectura. So let's get into the next one. Abilities and talents. So what do we have in abilities and talents? Yesterday we saw this vocabulary, all right? Ayer vimos este vocabulary. Pero como a veces entre tantas cosas que tenemos que hacer, se nos puede olvidar cómo se pronuncia. So let's practice. I'm going to have musical or artistic, Adriana, please. And after you finish, you go with technical and mechanical. Que lo lea. Yes, please. Music or artist plays debut. Play the violin. Violin. Sing English songs. Technical or mechanical. They sing a whip by fix car, fix a um, motorcycle. Cyclo. Motorcycle. Okay, repeat after me, Adrianita. Design a web page. This design, this size, uh -huh. this side, a web page. Great things. Mm -hmm. Excellent. There you go. Thank you, Adri. Let's go with Francisco. Please, Francisco, help me out with the vocabulary musical or artistic. Musical or artistic, play the violin, sing English songs, technical or mechanical, design a wet page, pick a car, pick a motorcycle. Excellent, thank you. Now, let me go. Uh, before continuing with this one, voy a aprovechar que ya se conectaron um, more people, right? Hi, Carla, Fabiola. Hi, teacher. How are you? No, I'm great. You're, I'm pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. What about Azucena? <laughs> How are you, Azucena? Hi, Miss. Good evening. Good evening. I, I'm fine. Excellent. Very good. All right, everybody. Good to see you in class. Let me share with you. Voy a ponerles el video de esta, de esta reading, okay? Tenemos distintas eh, porcentajes of numbers, percentage of numbers, y quiero que vayan captando cómo se pronuncian la mayoría de estos nombres, right? For example, encourage, eh, to know. Vamos a ver distintas maneras en las que se puede pronunciar eso, okay? I'm going to share with you, um, you are model two, right? Level two. Let me see. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's listen to the reading, please. Este es un reading, es una lectura, all right? Mm, está, no está larga, pero está un poco complicated. Pay attention, right? No necesitan escribir nada, solo pay attention. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll read an article about four unique American races. You'll also develop skills in reading for specific information. Race the U.S. Climb the stairs of New York City's Empire State Building in the Empire State Building run-up. The climb is 1,050 feet, 320 meters, 86 floors, or 1,575 steps. Winners can reach the top in just 10 to 11 minutes. Can you? Take eight or 10 days to race across America from Irvine, California to Savannah, Georgia. Cross the entire U.S. in this 2,900 mile, 4,667 kilometer bicycle race. In this race, there are no timeouts for sleep. For eight to 10 days, racers can sleep only about three hours each day. Race on the exciting white waters of the Arkansas River in the Downriver Race. Winners complete the 25.7 miles, 41.5 kilometers, in just two hours. This is the longest Downriver Race in the U.S. One person, one boat, take the challenge. Only possible in Alaska, the Iditarod Sled Dog Race. Race from downtown Anchorage to Nome, over 1,150 miles, 1,850 kilometers, through cold, wind, and snow. Winners usually finish the course in 9 to 12 days and receive cash prizes. All right, now let me go back to the PPT and let's see if you are able to read the information, all right? And we have the information over here, so... Let's try. Los que puedan leer, la van a ir leyendo conmigo, right? Um, let me see. I'm going to start. No se preocupen, right? Yo sé que tiene vocabulary un poco difficult. No tanto el vocabulary, más que todos los lugares, right? Que son un poco difíciles de pronunciar. O que ustedes pueden sentir que son un poco difíciles de pronunciar. And also the percentage when we are talking about numbers, right? So let's see. I'm going to start with. Let's see, Francisco, tell me the first paragraph, which is, ya le digo cuál sería. Which is uh, this one, all right? Climb, climb the stairs of New York City. Climb, climb the stairs of New, New York City and buy a safe building in the, and buy a safe building run up. The climb is, one thousand, one thousand and fifty, and fifty feet, and three hundred and ten and twenty, three hundred and twenty meters, and eighty six floors, eighty six floors, or one thousand, one thousand, one one thousand. 500 575 75 except mm -hmm. winners can reach the top in just 10 to 11 minutes can you excellent very good did you feel difficult the parada francisco lo sintió muy difícil um, los números prácticamente the numbers all right don't worry take it slow excellent Let's go with, let me check. Um, Ronnie, please, paragraph number two. Take eight or 10 days. Hello, Ronnie. I don't know if you're already talking. 
Can you hear me? Yes, now I hear you. Okay. Well, my audiphone was... I forgot that my work. Oh, okay, you left them at, at work. All right, I take, no another, I, I, I take another audiphone, but it's not good. Headphones. Okay. okay. I really. Yes, this uh, one. Take, take, it, take, uh, take it eight or ten days to race across America from Irving, California to Savannah, Georgia, cross the entire USA and this 2,900 miles and 4,067, 60? 600? 677, 67, 67 uh -huh. kilometers. Bicycle race. And this race, there are no time out for sleep. For eight to 10 days, racer came to sleep only about three hours each day. Very good, Ronnie, excellent, thank you. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, all right, let me go with, let me see, Lourdes, please. Race on the exciting white water, waters. Right? Are you there, Lourdes? We don't have Lourdes. Let me go. Okay. Hi, 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 hi. Excellent. Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Praise on the exciting white waters of the Arkansas River in the Down River Race. Winners complete the 25.7 miles, 41.5 kilometers in just two hours. This is the longest down river race in the US. One person, one boat take the challenge. That's correct, excellent. Thank you, right? That was kind of easy peasy because you didn't have a high numbers, right? Very good, look at this. Let me check. <clears throat> Let's see. Manuel, read this paragraph, please. Only possible in Alaska. Okay. Only possible in Alaska. The. Either right. The intro. Como? The either right. Either right. Sleep. Sleep dog race. Race from downtown. Eso no sé cómo se pronuncia. Downtown Anchorage. Anchorage. Ah, es el nombre del, del downtown. To Nome. To Nome. Uh -huh. Over 1,150 1, uh, miles. Uh -huh. um, 100. 1,000. Uh, 1,850 kilometers. Mm -hmm. Trout, cold, wind, and snow. Winners usually finish the course in nine to twelve days and receive, recite, recite or receive, receive, receive cash prizes, prizes, prizes. Mm -hmm. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, Manuel. Very good with the numbers. Mm, let me see. Okay, let's continue. All right, everybody. Now <laughs> we're going to stop over here with the readings, all right? Because I know some of you maybe were shaking because of the numbers. And I got you. Don't worry. My advice for you is to listen once, listen twice, the audio until you are able to perform very well the numbers, right? So let's move on. Abilities and talents. Uh, I was practicing with Francisco and, and Adriana. Now I'm going to practice with uh, Azucena. Tell me the musical or artistic uh, vocabulary and also the technical or mechanical.
Ok, Miss. Um, no sé si me escucha bien. Yes. Uh, eh, ambos, ¿verdad? Yes, both. Musical or artistic. Play the violin, sing English song, technical or mechanical, design a web page, fix a car, fix a motor. A motorcycle. Excellent. Thank you, Susana. Let's check Fabiola. Tell me the vocabulary. Um, musical or artists play the violin, sing English, English song, technical or mechanical. ¿Cómo es esto? Design, a, ¿sí, Design a web page, fix a car, fix a... ¿Cómo era? Motorcycle. Moto, motorcycle. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. Ustedes pueden, eh, as we are beginners, you can read it that way, right? Pero yo siempre les voy a dar la manera en la que los natives lo dicen, que sería motorcycle. Right? Excellent. No. Thank you, Fabi. <laughs> Let's go with, eh, let me see, Laura Pamela, please. Athletic and other. Athletic do gymnastic, ride a horse, surf, other, bake a cake, play chess, they're good jokes. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. Let's go with Esmeralda del Rosario, please. Athletic and other. Athletic do gymnastics, ride a horse, surf. Other bake a cake, play chess, tell good jokes. All right, excellent. Esmeralda, play chess. Play chess. Mm -hmm. Excellent. There you go. Thank you. Jaime Ernesto, please. Athletic and other. Okay. Athletic. Do gymnastics. Ride a horse. Surf. Other. Bake a cake, play chess, tell good jokes. Excellent, really good, thank you. And let's go with the last one in this part, which is going to be Regina. Okay, Regina, tell me. Okay, hi, miss. Hi, good evening. Uh, thank you, good evening too. Um, athletic, good gym gymnastic, gymnastics, ride a horse, surf, other. Bake a cake, play chess, tell good jokes. Jokes, Excellent. jokes. Jokes. Um, right. Jokes, okay. Excellent, very good, thank you. All right, everybody. Now, we were practicing with this vocabulary because as I mentioned at the beginning of the class, sometimes from one day to another, we missed the correct pronunciation, right? That's why I'm always begging you to practice with the vocabulary that you acquired. Now, Let's check these examples. Um, Sandra, can you please read example number one and two? Okay, good evening. Good evening, Sandra. Uh, okay. Writing example number one. I can tell good job, but I can bake a cake. Mm -hmm. number and two. number two? Number two. Pablo can write a whole but he can sort uh -huh, that's correct excellent Sanita. thank you now let's think guys All right i won't ask you to write on your notebooks because right now you should be able uh, to produce or to create sentences without writing them so let's check um tell me one ability that you have manuel and one ability that you don't have My ability, ability is can swim. I can, I can swim. I can. Drive a car. Okay, yeah, that's true. That's an ability. Not all of us, we can drive a car. Okay, uh, let's go with. Regina, tell me one ability that you have and one ability that you don't have related to mm. the vocabulary. 
Ok. Eh, tengo que leer eso, sí. No, oh, no, you will tell me. Me va a decir la de usted. Su ability, you want ability and one ability that you don't have. Una que sí tiene y una que no tiene. Dios mío. <laughs> <laughs> no, pero we were practicing with this yesterday. Ya practicamos con esto. So let's check. Okay. okay. Um, I can uh, bake a cake, uh -huh. but I don't. But I, I perdón, but I can't. Uh, cook a soup. That's true. <laughs> Excellent, <laughs> Regina. Do you really know how to cake a bake? Bake a cake? Yes, yes, yes. All right. I can. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Pero no me diga que compra ya hecho así solo para hacerlo en el super, right? <laughs> la premezcla. No, yo la hago de cero. All right. Excellent. That's cool. All right, let's go with Fabiola. Let's see, Fabiola. Tell me one ability that you have and one ability that you don't have. Mm, sería algo que, que digamos puedo hacer o algo así y algo en mm -hmm. lo que no me salga bien. Exactly. Que no pueda, verdad. Mm -hmm. um, no sé. <laughs> Perfecta, Dios. ¿Cómo está la mente? O sea, I can play guitar. Ajá. Uh -huh. Mm, but I no sé. But I can't. No, no, ya sé. No, sabe, ya sé. But I can speak English well. Don't say that. Don't say that. You're Era good. Algo que no pudiera hacer. O sea, <laughs> <laughs> All right, excellent, Fabi. Thank you. Ronnie, Ronnie, tell me one ability that you have and one ability that you don't have. Uh. I can play soccer mm -hmm. and I can paint house. <laughs> All right, there you go. Excellent. Yeah, Thank you. How do you say uh, patinar? Skate. 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 Con ese. Skate. Skate. Uh, a skate. Okay, a skate. I can't skate. I can't skate. All right, very good, Ronnie. Don't worry, you are not the okay. only one. No es el único. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see, Jaime. Let's tell me, Jaime, one ability that you have and one ability that you don't have. Uh, I can cook some kind of foods, uh, but I can uh, ride a horse. Excellent, very good. Thank you, Jaime. What about Esmeralda del Rosario? Tell me one ability that you have and one ability that you don't have. Okay. Uh, I can skate, mm -hmm. uh, but I can't drive a, a standard car. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Excellent. Very good, Esmeralda. Thank you. Chocolates. High five. Let's see. Um, let me have... Francisco, tell me one ability that you have and one ability that you don't have. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I can design a web page, but I can prepare. I can. I can. I can fix a computer. All right, there you go. Excellent. Those are correct. Now, let's check everybody. So far, we are doing so good, all right? Remember, don't forget that basically we use can and can't to express if we are able to do something, if it is possible for us to do something. And we are talking most of the time about abilities, right? Abilities, you know, like um, playing a guitar and sing it loud, write songs, different things, abilities, right? In most of the time we use can or can't just to express abilities, right? So there you go. Let's pass to something that I want to show, right? Present symbol. Let me check. We have this information. It says present symbol. Como recuerden que tenemos que hacer el review de todo el contenido que hemos visto, right? De la mayoría del contenido que hemos visto. Entonces, aprovechaba de ponerles esta information about present simple or simple present, right? We use the present simple to talk about habits or regular activities and situations. Example, 
Paul gets up at 5.30 every day. Facts and attitudes that are generally or always true. Example, nurses don't have an easy life, right? Ustedes aprendieron las structures, aprendieron el use of daily routines, right? Dis distintas eh, cosas generadas gracias al simple present o relacionadas al simple present. Pero para mí era necesario que supieran esto también, right? Que es como basic knowledge. Es conocimiento básico de el present simple. Let me hear Sandra, please. Can you read again the information? Okay. Present simple. We use the present simple to talk about habits on regular activities and situation. Example. Um, Paul, get, get that, Paul get up at for uh, five thirty uh, every day. Facts mm -hmm. and activity, activity that are generally or always true. Example, nurse don't have an easy life. Mm -hmm. Excellent, there you go. Thank you, Sandrita, right? Cuando dice facts, se refiere a hechos, right? Cosas que, pues sí son ciertas, right? Hechos, como nurses don't have an easy life. Las enfermeras no tienen una eh, vida fácil, right? There you go. If you want to take a screenshot of, of this information or you want to copy this, you can do it, all right? Let's move on to the next one. Que quiero que vean de esta parte. Let's see if I can move this. All right. Simple present. With verbs that end in O, C, H, S, H, S, S, like go, catch, watch, wash, kiss, etc. We add ES in third person singular. With some verbs that end in Y, like cry, fly, hurry, try, etc. The Y changes to ES or IES in third person singular. All right, porque estamos viendo esto. Por si ustedes consideraban que a todos definitivamente solo les iban a agregar la S, no. No, mis cielos, all right? It's not that way. You need to change it, all right? It's different. It's going to be different for each of the birds. Así que aquí les pongo esta información. Yo les aconsejo que la copien, all right? No me vayan a poner después al go, solo me le vayan a poner goes, right? Con la S, ya tú. no. Lo mismo para cry, no vayan a poner cries like this. No, la regla gramatical nos dice que lo vamos a cambiar por, all right, I, E, S. Let me have a, mm, lower this, please. Tell me the information, read the information again. With the verbs that end in O, C, H, S, H, S, S, go, catch, watch, wash, kiss, etc., we add E, S in the third person singular with some verbs that end in, what is? Why? I don't remember. Why? Thank mm -hmm. you. Cry, fly. Hurry, try, etc. The Y change to yes. A, yes, okay. In the third person singular. Mm -hmm. Excellent. There you go. All right. So, is it clear? Está claro ahorita esta información que les estoy produciendo aquí? Or do you have any yes. questions? Yeah, Miss. It's clear. Very good, very good. No questions? All right, because then we're gonna do a practice, all right? You know the Miss Arevalo loves practicing, right? So let's get into the business. Getting examples, and let me check. Fabiola, please. Read the guiding examples. Me lee los ejemplos, please. I can open it. Okay. Right. The baby cries 
when it's hungry, he, ¿cómo se dice? Flies. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. He flies to Canada every, every day. Just la. Anna Harris. ¿Cómo? Harris. Harris. Mm -hmm. Así. Yeah. Anna Harris every day to catch the bulls. Esta sí no sé cómo se dice. Aldo. Aldo María. Aldo María is not a good student. She tries to get good grades. Traits, excellent, very good. Although es un, um, significa aunque, all right? I think it's an adverb. Yeah, as far as I remember, it's an adverb, all right? Although Maria is not a good student, she tries to get good grades. Anna hurries every day to catch the bus. Thank you so much, Fabiola. I don't know if I told you, uh, thank you, but thank you, <laughs> all right? So there you go, guys. These are some of the examples that you need to get into your mind. Right. Remember, if you're using, if you're using <laughs> third person singular, I'm sorry, se me salió la Z ahí con el using. All right. If you are using third person singular, you must change it. Right. No se nos olvide. Esto es un error bien común que suele pasar con el simple present. Se nos olvida que en la tercera persona singular, it's not going to be the same. No va a ser lo mismo. Right. Is it clear? Yes, it's clear. All right, let's move on. Ay, hablen, everybody. Hoy es su última clase. Solo ahora tienen para aprovechar, all right? Para decirme, mis, eso no entendimos, o esto sí, all right? So let's get to the next one. Simple present statements. I'm going to have Sandrita, you are positive statements, and Francisco, you are negative statements. Please. Okay. Positive statements. I go to a school. You ride your bike to a school. We are I going one and one, Sandrita. Uno y uno. Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> don't worry, no se preocupe. Let's see, Francisco. I don't live far from here. Continue, Sandrita. Far from here? Mm. O, o, you ride, you ride, uh, you ride your bike to a school? You don't live near here? He works near here? He doesn't work downtown? She takes the bus to work? She doesn't ride to work? We live with our parents? We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. That's correct, excellent. Thank you guys, we're doing good with the pronunciation. Let me hear Ronnie, you are positive statements and Laura Pamela, you are negative statements. Action. I walk to a school. I don't live far from. Here. Uh, you ride your bike to school? You don't lie near, near here. He works, he works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with her parents. We don't lie alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Yes. Now, let me Applausos. check. Applausos. Applausos. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> just to hurry up. To, just to uh, hurry, right? <laughs> let me see, Laurita. Uh, repeat after me. Live. Live. Mm -hmm. All right. Excellent. There you go. Let me go with... Manuel, you are positive statements. Regina, you are negative. Action. I walk to school. I don't live far from here. 
You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public tra transportation. They don't need a car. That's correct. Excellent, guys. Very good. Aplaudirles, Ima, pero ya no. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Aplaudanos. <laughs> Aplausos. <laughs> Let me see. Let me go with Jaime. Jaime, you are positive statements and Adriana, you are negative statements. Action. Okay. I go to school. You ride your bike as to school. Yeah, Adrianita, I don't live far from here. Ah, oh, perdón. Me pasé. I don't like I I don't live far from here. Mm -hmm. uh, teacher, I have a question. Is real or ride? Ride. Okay, thank you. You ride your bike to school. You don't like live near here. He works near here. He doesn't go downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't ride to go. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need car. All right, excellent. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Now, just do not forget the pronunciation of do and doesn't, right? It's different. In this one, you say doesn't. Doesn't, doesn't. It's different. It's not the same. Let's move on with the next one. Third person singular. Let me hear. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Francisco, please, third person singular. Tell me the examples. Um, Marta works to work every day. Pablo rides his bike every morning. The weather changes every three months. Mm -hmm. That's correct, excellent. The weather changes everything three months. What are we going to do? Por qué insistí tanto en el uso de la third person singular? Let's check. All right, we have this practice. It's kind of long. It's good for you, all right? It's not gonna hurt you. No les hace nada de daño practicar este simple present, okay? Van a copiar. Ustedes decían, if you want to copy the sentences para adquirir más vocabulary, o si solo quieren ir poniendo las respuestas, all right? Let's work on these ones. Si quieren poner solo las respuestas, pueden poner number one, and the verb, right? Cuando pasen a leer, no me vayan a decir solo el verb, me van a decir la, la oración completa, right? Let's work on these ones. Les voy a dar tiempo, pueden trabajar en esto en sus cuadernos.
Ah, by the way, okay, Fabi. Remember the simple present? Hemos estado practicando con el simple present, right? No se preocupe, Fabi. El simple present puede llegar a ser un poco... Um, it's, it's not like difficult. No puede ser muy difícil, right? Sino que tiene que aprender a diferenciar entre el uso del verb to be y el simple present, porque no son los mismos. Ambos tenses, ambos tiempos gramaticales están en presente, pero no son lo mismo, right? En este caso, usted no va a hacer uso del verb to be en ninguno de estos. Solo se va a ir con simple present. ¿Cuál es la ventaja del simple present? Que usted solo tiene que fijarse su subject para ver cómo va a ejercer su verb, right? Ya las reglas gramaticales que les compartí, como cambiar la y por es, right? O solo agregarle es. Eso es lo que va a poner en práctica ahorita si es third person singular. Si es primera persona singular, you don't need to change anything, all right? Creo que le entendí al git. All right, very good. If you have another question, you ask me, okay? Miss. Yes. O sea que no en todo va a cambiar el verbo. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> if you have first, if you have first person singular, you shouldn't change your verb. Mm, ok, ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Una pregunta. O sea, que en el primero, por ejemplo, no cambiaría porque está en primera persona. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna change. Ya les dio copia, ¿sabes? No, o sea, es que es duda. Imagínese, me pregunta y se la digo mal. O sea, qué pena. Don't worry, Fabi. Excellent. Sí, pero sí es, Fabi. Justamente, right? Recuerden, ya vimos esto en mi check. Ya vieron eso, right? Recuerden, solo con el he, she, it va a cambiar el verb. Y recuerden que si estamos hablando de Daniel, en este caso, right? He's talking about a boy. Entonces, mi cerebro asimila que Daniel es un hombre. Entonces, voy a utilizar el he. Sé que ese es mi subject pronoun. Entonces, me voy directamente a la tercera persona singular. Teacher, tengo una pregunta, pero no del ejercicio, sino que del siguiente módulo. ¿Nos van a dar información en el grupo de WhatsApp o, o cómo sabremos cuándo arrancar el módulo 3? A ustedes les, ten, les tendrían que enviar, eh, Jaime, un correo, ¿all right? 
con la información y creo que también hacen una reunión general cuando ya van a iniciar módulo, creo, right? Entonces, pero otro orden that, creo que en el grupo de WhatsApp no ponen nada. Eso es más que todo eh, individualmente que les envían el correo ya con los accesos y todo. Aunque creo que ustedes tienen que llenar un formulario, ¿verdad? Yo hice todo eso, pero solo para empezar. Ya módulo 2. Ya no lo necesitó. Yo no lo hice. No sé si lo hizo Recursos Humanos de mi empresa. Mm, all right, all right. Entonces, sí, Jaime, en este caso, mañana le puedo averiguar cómo sería que los contactan a ustedes, right? Si les llaman o si les envían de un solo el correo para ver cuándo inicia. Ah, ok. Gracias, teacher. There you go. No le digo que ahorita la averiguo porque ya no me van a contestar. No, no, no te preocupes, teacher. Gracias. You're welcome. Ok, have you finished, guys? Terminamos. Miren, tenemos bastante content. Ok, let's get started. Vamos a iniciar ya. No se preocupen. Va, si no las han terminado de escribir, it's okay. We're gonna do it orally anyways. So, let's see. Eh, Adriana, what do you have for number one? Um, I study English every day. Every day. Excellent. Thank you. Number two, Jaime. We teach English. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Number three, Francisco. Este, en la tres tenía mis dudas, pero me imagino que yeah. es he pays me well. He plays me well. All right. Eh, he plays me well es como una frase, right? Suele significar... Eh, él sabe el rumbo, right? O él sabe cómo soy o me conoce bien, right? It could have different variations in meeting according to the context. Pero other than that, está correcto, Francisco. Si puso place, that's correct. Ahí, ahí en ese caso creo que se agregaría. Ah, pays. Pays, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Pays me well. He pays me well. Ah, creí que decía he plays me well. No, pero dice he pays me well. Yes, Francisco, you need to change the Y for ES. Pays me well. Siempre, aplica la misma regla gramatical, Francisco, right? Para todos los que terminan con Y. Let's go with number four, Esmeralda. Okay, Daniel flies to Paris once in a year. That's correct, thank you. Number five, Regina. Okay. Um, she never does her homework. That's correct. Thank you. Number six, Lourdes. Six. This girl always push, push, pushes uh, some S. <laughs> pushes somebody. Uh -huh, excellent. That's correct. Pushes. Remember, third person singular. Emmanuel, number seven. They want to do something special tonight. Uh -huh, excellent. We won't change the verb. Uh, Pamela, number eight. Uh, David never. Mixes eggs and vinegar together. That's correct. Thank you. Eh, Azucena, number nine. The room goes on fire. Mm, this one, the room is on fire. Um, don't pay attention to this one, Azucena. It's this verb to be, all right? The room is on fire. Right, es la única que estaba en verb to be. Right, thank ah, you. Okay, <laughs> okay. It's on the fire. Ah, uh, don't worry. Let me go with Sandrita, number 10. I usually help, help my mother cook. 
that's correct. Thank you. And Ronnie, 11, please. You, you still believe in Santa Claus. Mm, exactly. You still believe in Santa Claus, <laughs> Ronnie. <laughs> All right, excellent, thank you. All right, guys, don't worry about the other ones. Let me pass to the next information, all right? Ya no nos vamos a quedar mucho tiempo con esas porque I have more content. So auxiliary verbs do and does. We, you, do for the pronouns, I, you, we, and they. That's it, that's all you need to remember. We use does for the pronouns, he, she, it, all right? Those are the only pronouns that I'm going to be using with us. No more than that. Let me see. I have practice, but I need to pass to the other one. And let me see. Sandrita, can you please read this information if you have? Do you have an auxiliary verb, don't add and is to the following verb? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And let me go with Azucena. Tell me the guiding examples. One, two, and three. Okay, uh, guiding examples. Number one, Abigail doesn't drive to work. Mm -hmm. Number two, I don't live near home. Number three, Alex doesn't walk to home in the evening. Excellent, there you go. Now, if you notice, guys, ¿por qué recordamos eso, right? Aquí es donde se puede generar una confusion. Porque estamos aprendiendo que en el simple present, in third person singular, yo hago uso del is o del s, right? Pero aquí no, ya tienen su auxiliar. No necesitan, la, no necesitan cambiar el verb. Su auxiliar ejerce basically the action, right? El, el sufre el cambio, basically, all right? So instead of saying doesn't drives, eso no está correcto, right? Así que ni en speaking, ni en listening, ni reading, ni nada, right? Abigail doesn't drive. Ya tengo el doesn't, no le agrego nada más a mi verb. Está más fácil. Let's go with this practice. And let me have, Ronnie, you will ask and Fabiola, you answer the questions. Usted pregunta, Ronnie, Fabiola, usted responde las preguntas. What do you work in a hospital? What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Uh, where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They are waitress. How do they like it? They hate it. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Let's go with the next one. Um, let me have Esmeralda del Rosario. You ask, Lourdes, you answer. <clears throat> Uh, the second, where does he work? Um, all of them, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. Was, what does he do? He's a manager. How does he like, he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They are waiters. How do they like it? They hate it. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, girls. Let's move on to the next one, just for you to remember. All right. Remember, structures are important. And also, uh, steps are important. And also, the theory is important. All right. So, we have this structure. 
WH were plus do or does plus subject plus complement plus question mark. Please don't forget that structure. Where does Maria work? What does he do? All right. Basically, does and do, they are doing my job. All right. They are doing what I need them to do, which is to be my auxiliary. Now, I don't think we won't have time for this one. Let me go with adverbs of frequency. Oh, no. Let's do this practice, right? Let's check, everybody. Listen, recuerdan que utilizamos que estudiamos los indefinite, indefi no, indefinite articles. ¿Cuáles son los indefinite articles? Solo tenemos dos. Ah, and that, and. Excellent, there you go, Rani. All right, so let's work with this one. Um, let me check if if I have door, what a, what indefinite article should I use, Ronnie? Uh, and door. Huh? And door. Uh -huh. All right, let's check. Por ahí quería ver si estábamos. Let's see, Ronnie. <clears throat> Ronnie, y para todos, right? Recuerden, si ustedes tienen an su noun o la palabra que va a ir después, right? Tiene que comenzar con una vocal, which is vowel sound, right? Es decir, yo puedo decir an insect, all right? Um, let me see another one, an ear, right? Si mi palabra comienza con vocal, mi ojo rapidito sabe, right? An. Pero si mi palabra o oh, my noun comienza con una consonant, sound, una letra del abecedario, right? Todas las demás, voy a utilizar a. A, right? And that's pretty much it. It's like basic, right? I know hay mucho donde perderse. Let me see, Regina, if I'm using tractor, what indefinite article should I use? Mm, cualquiera, Miss. In this one. Let me see. Oh, okay. Um, do, um, y, ¿Cuál utiliza uh, A or an? A, a door. A, sorry. A door. A tractor. Mm -hmm. A dress. An alarm clock. A woman. A tape. A flower. Excellent, thank you, there you go. Jaime, tell me this wrong, please. Me dice esta fila, Jaime. Y los indefinite articles que utilizaría. A finger, an insect, a color, a flag, an umbrella, an hour, a friend. There you go, thank you. All right, everybody. Let me go with Francisco, this other round. A new, a girl, a letter, a curtain, a newspaper, a record, a morning. All right, there you go. All right, everybody. Now, listen, we're just about to finish, right? And I just wanted to tell you we're going to finish the class in here. Eh, aquí vamos a finalizar la clase. Tenía más contenido para review, pero we don't have more time, right? Ya no tenemos tiempo. Así que solamente comentarles que les deseo mucho para el próximo level. No se olviden de practicar mucho, right? Es cierto, algunos ya lo manejan perfectly, pero otros igual, aunque ustedes ya lo manejen, tienen que practicarlo. Si no, se les va a fundir, right? I'm just trying to be honest over here. I need you to practice and I wish you the best for next course. Bye. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye, Bye, Bye teacher. teacher. Thank you for everything. Bye, Bye teacher. <laughs> Bye, Miss. Bye. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome, everybody. Bye. Bye. See you next week. Uh, I'm not sure if next week is going to be the course, all right? <laughs> no. <laughs> you and me. Bye, teacher. Nos vemos el otro año. Yes, probably. Bye, probably. Teacher. Bye, everybody. Merry, Merry Christmas, teacher. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Ronnie. Thank you.